Sorting methods. As we discussed previously, select statements can be sorted in different ways, namely by column in the select statement, by an expression, or by the position of a column retrieved within a select statement. Let's go into this now in more detail. So you can sort by the name of a column. You can also use aliases when sorting by column names. You can sort by position in the select statement, and you can sort by an expression. Let's go and look at some examples. First of all, let's sort by column name. Here we have the name from the category table ordered by name in ascending order. And here we can see we've got H, O, W, etc. Now let's go and look at the show table. And let's simply select all the data. The show date, show ID, and venue ID. And there we have all the data sorted in physical order, which is not necessarily in the correct date order. Here we see we have 2003 and then after it 2002 and before it 2002 so we're definitely not sorted in that query now what we'll do is we'll sort that same query in the order of the show date note the dates are going up from 2002 up to 2003 and the nulls are appearing lost once again if we wanted to get remove the nulls from the end we could actually say nulls first. And let's run that. And now the nulls have disappeared because they're up the top of the query since we set nulls first. What's next? Now let's go and sort that same query but sorting by multiple columns. You can sort by multiple columns, multiple positions, multiple expressions. We're going to sort by show date and venue ID, which means we sort with venue inside of show date. So now what we have is the date sorted. Within there, we have, for instance, 25th of January 2003. We have three records. They all happen to be five, so that doesn't really demonstrate what I'm trying to show. What we need to do is we need to find a date with multiple venues. The point is, we did actually sort by the two fields. We have a problem here, which we can resolve. Now, this is an interesting one, because what's happened here is that let's find one date with two different venue IDs in the wrong order, and there it is. It's gone 37 and 5. It should be 537. How do we solve that problem? The reason is, is because this is a date. It's a timestamp. So the chances are this date is actually later than that date internally. So let's actually examine that. Okay, let's see how we can resolve this problem. 